Okay, quick tip here on uh, the vacuum pod system. And this is in relation to the gaskets themselves. Now normally, you may have seen my other video with this. This has like, it's about 1 16th inch thick uh, foam gasket. It's, it's a peel and stick foam sheet that you just get at any good craft store, okay? It's about a 16th of an inch thick. And it, and it holds up pretty darn good. But eventually you may want to change the gasket or they may wear out, you may tear them, whatever. Uh, with the peel and stick, you kind of got to scrape them off and then clean it off with acetone. Um, I have since found a better way. So what I'm doing now is I actually put uh, the blue painter's tape down on top of my vacuum pod. And in this case, I'm using a little thicker gasket because the surface I'm, I'm, I'm vacuuming down is a little slight warp to it. So this thicker gasket works a little better. And again, it's just, it's about quarter inch thick foam from the craft store, but no peel and stick, okay? So you put the painter's tape down and then you just put some, you put some super glue down and it doesn't take much. You can just, you can just put, you can just put a few dots around the perimeter and I'm gonna use the, lost my mic there guys okay and then whenever it's time to remove the gasket it's a snap because you just peel off the uh, painters tape and you got a clean surface I've already I've done so many parts on this thick foam gasket in this jig so far that for some odd reason, one side of the gasket was compressing more than another, and it was leaning the part slightly. And I wasn't, I, I was starting to get a burr around the cutout. But anyway, works great, it, and this way makes it a real quick snap to uh, change the gasket. Pretty cool, huh? So let's turn on the vacuum. Put a part in there. There you go.